Hey everyone! In this video we are going to rig the eye using Wix. The rig is based on a blog post by Chris Lesage, who rigged the eye in Maya by using made functions like sine and cosine. He used Maya joints to drive the deformation and we are going to implement this rig in Houdini by writing a Wix deformer. So the idea is that uh, we can drive the deformation based on a parameter and use this parameter uh, sine function for translate and cosine for scale. Um, so we can see this circle gets its uh, transfor transformation from the sine function and scale from the cosine function. And it always fits this sphere. If we apply this to every point here, we will get the formation of the iris and pupil the same way as we are deforming here this whole circle. So let's go into our spherical eye geometry. Um, we have a basic sphere, we apply the normals, uh, apply the material and a simple UV projection which is just a frontal projection uh, for the whole geometry. And this is our geometry on which we will uh, base our rig. The only thing that's important here is that um, the radius of the eye is one unit. Uh, this is so uh, that the calculations um, are much easier to do with uh, the length of one unit. Um, and if, there are an, if the eye needs to be bigger or smaller, uh, we do it after uh, we create this uh, deformation. Okay, so first let's create a rest position. And because we'll need it later, and we'll go create a point triangle which is actually going to be our deformer. Okay. So first we need to add some parameters. Uh, we need one for the pupil of the eye. And one for the iris. And we're going to use a ramp which will serve as a remap from the uh, Z position. So we want going to call this slide, slide ramp. Okay. And the group of points on which we're going to work with is those that are positive in Z, Z axis. So we are not worried about the points that are behind here because we'll never see them. So we will deform our or slide this iris and pupil uh, by using this ramp. So uh, and this ramp will be based on the z position of uh, each point, and we will remap them and use this, this value to calculate the new position. So So uh, we calculate uh, the remapped or uh, value of the point z position. We calculate the sine um, value of this position and also calculate uh, the default um, value or before the remapped value, which we'll use for the uh, scale calculation uh, so that we know how much we, uh, what is the difference for the on the new position and what the new scale should be. So if you do um, 
cosine of each of these values uh, so this is a remap this is a default and as is the default and the remap so you can actually do it like this So if we divide, so if we divide um, our um, remap scale uh, and uh, default scale, we get the actual multiplication value for the uh, for the scale, and we simply multiply the points x and y positions, and uh, this is this gives a scale. So and the points position is actually just the remapped value of this. Um, of this initial point z position so now if we change our ramp we see that we get this sliding effect what we need now is actually a way to uh, control the iris and the pupil uh, each one independently uh, to do that uh, we're gonna create two parameters one for the uh, iris edge and one for the people edge and um, we're gonna have to store uh, two point numbers that are uh, resting on this uh, each individual edge so we're gonna create two integer parameters and call it iris edge and pupil edge point number um, point number for each of these parameters uh, can be any point on this uh, ring so for the iris we can just choose 350 and for the pupil 158 and th these are constants so we set them just once and then uh, leave them alone uh, now let's calculate the position based on this uh, iris edge point number. Um, so, so So uh, we took the input geometry and based on our RSH point number uh, look, looked up the rest uh, position value in uh, the Z value of the rest position. And we are going to copy this and use uh, sort of the same for the position of this, uh, of this uh, third point. Uh, which is, um, I'm going to use the pupil edge point number. So right now, if we change the value, we see that we are sliding the um, each one independently. So now we, we, all we need is also to connect uh, this value um, to the pupil and the iris uh, control. To do that, we're gonna write a similar expression and say um, first we're gonna take from the um, from the position value, and we are basically just going to. Um, subtract the um, pupil parameter. Uh, sorry, sorry, the iris parameter. So what it means is that uh, 
if you change this, we see that it works. And we'll do the same for the people parameter. So So this is actually everything we need to do and this gives us a nice uh, sliding effect of the iris in pupil. That's it for this video. Thanks again to Chris Lesage for sharing his idea on using uh, sine and cosine for rigging the eye. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Houdini version of it and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.